Hello watch enthusiasts. Now I've been prompted today to talk about watch accessories um, because I've seen the new range of Omega straps um, which are I, I feel ridiculously overpriced about 200 pounds um, but it has prompted me to talk about several things that uh, every watch collector really should have um, and uh, any watch collector that doesn't have them is really missing out um, as they are very very useful. So first of all I will start with NATO straps so a NATO strap is traditionally a nylon strap which passes through both um, through both spring bars of a watch. Uh, so it some some NATO straps go um, uh, just over the the um, spring bars and out the out the other side, and um, and they're called Zulus. And then the sort of more standard NATO will get will have another piece going underneath the whole watch just to secure the um, the timepiece. So if you were to hang it up, it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't slide out. Now the advantage of these is that if a spring bar breaks, you're, the, you're, the watch is still attached to your wrist, uh, hence their use with uh, a lot of diving and uh, aviation firms um, who wear their watches on, um, on NATOs for added security. Another advantage of the NATO strap is that it is, it is of course uh, waterproof, uh, because nylon isn't really affected by salt water, so, um, so they're very durable. And they, they do look very good on various watches and can be easily swapped out as spring bars don't have to be... Um, adjusted um, to change them they just slip out. One lovely feature of NATOs is that you can get them in all sorts of colourful patterns and, uh, and designs so if you really want to wear your watch for example on the beach or something then you can uh, you can get a really bright strap to uh, to suit the weather for example if you're in a hot climate like this martini livery on this um, uh, this uh, Rolex um, Submariner. There are also leather straps um, which are made in a NATO form so they pass through both lugs, um, uh, both spring bars, sorry. And, uh, and these look fantastic on sort of more vintage style watches um, because they're usually made out of um, unlined calf. Uh, so they look imperfect, uh, which, which I personally love. Um, and t in terms of what you pay for one of these straps, anywhere around the £20 mark for a, uh, a NATO made from nylon, and then I'd say probably between the 40, 60, maybe 80 pound mark for a, a really nice leather one. Um, but again, these straps can easily be changed so you can quickly acquire a collection. Um, one, one thing that I would say though is always buy NATO straps in a reasonable size. So for example, 20 mils, because I find that if I buy 22 mil ones, they don't fit the majority of my watches. Another um, accessory which is extremely useful is a watch roll. So this is a means of carrying between uh, two and, uh, and about six watches when one's travelling. Uh, because of course tr you can't, one can't travel with the case that the watch came in because they're bulky and, uh, um, and not particularly protective. Whereas a nice leather um, roll like this you can slip the watches into um, and then forget about them when you roll it up and tie it. Uh, it can also be carried in hand luggage easily on aircraft. Um, the only difficulty is if you have a, um, a watch with a metal bracelet, I personally don't like letting the metal bracelet rub against the back of the watch um, because it scratches things up, um, so I easily just uh, put a, um, a piece of cloth in between just to, to protect the back of the, uh, the case. Now there are several types of, um, of watch rolls. Now there's the more standard version which is the, uh, the slot and roll version which you see on the screen now, uh, but there are more, um, more durable options as well. A more durable option would be this, for example. This is a solid case um, made from leather, again, with a sort of velvet-lined interior, which means that, of course, the watches can't be, um, can't be knocked around as easily uh, because the whole casing of this, um, this box is solid. Um, also, more watches can be fitted into this, although there isn't that protection uh, of between watches to stop them from bumping into each other. In terms of the best role for travelling, um, and for general practicality, I'd say that the Page and Cooper um, uh, travel roll is probably the best because you can put your um, your rings and, if you're a, a lady, earrings um, in it as well, along with two uh, two or three watches if you use the extra pocket um, with your passport and your various cards. Um, so it means that you can have everything in one place, which I I think is useful if you're uh, travelling by aeroplane, for example. Uh, although, again, that does bring up the issue of uh, if you lose one thing, you lose everything. Um, but I imagine this would have your um, your full attention, seeing as it has everything in it. Now, in terms of pricing, one can really spend around the hundred pound mark on a um, a nice watch roll. 
um, because they usually come in very nice leather, um, which does of course cost because it you know it's a large piece. Um, but one does want the safety of having a really nice one for uh, for one's watches. A final very useful tool is the um, the spring bar tool. Um, now these are invaluable when you're changing straps out quite regularly uh, on watches, and they're useful as well for bracelets because you usually can't get a screwdriver or something like that into the gap that's in a um, an end link to uh, to dislodge the bracelet. Equally, the amount of uh, damage uh, that one sees uh, on uh, on watches because people have used the wrong tools to remove spring bars um, is immense. So it's best to buy a decent spring bar tool and uh, and use that. So Bergeon is probably the the best known um, brand for these. Uh, so I'd usually stick to the big brands. Um, I mean, I use a Page and Cooper one, but uh, you know that's perfectly good. But these ones are known for their quality. Now, if one really does have a lot of money to spend on one of these, then caliper-style ones are probably the best, because these allow one to um, to um, clip onto the spring bars on both sides of the watch, and then carefully screw the, screw the sides together, um, thus um, removing the spring bar. And this is the safest way if you uh, if you're using this on a very expensive watch. You know, I'd say over the two thousand pound mark, you'd want to use these. Although these do cost around £100, um, they will be invaluable and are very, very well made if you buy the sort of Bergeon ones, uh, rather than a sort of a cheaper alternative. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, do please like, share and subscribe if you, um, if you enjoyed the video and if you'd like to see some more. Um, so this is Arm on the Watch Guy, over and out.